diverse and exciting deployments that I think most ships have had any time in recent memory. We rushed over uh, for the Syrian crisis and by the end of it, it changed 180 degrees to a completely different mission where we participated in the uh, uh, intercept and the uh, liberation of motor vessel Morning Glory. Um, that was a, a very exciting time for the entire crew and certainly very proud of everything we accomplished over the course of the deployment. Absolutely. The, uh, the ship was uh, ready and in position just in case we were called upon, but at the same time, we were having a Sunday afternoon where we were painting the ship. And when the call came, we rapidly went to uh, our station 45 miles away Dad. and quickly acted, manned up our team, and we're ready to uh, conduct the boarding operations in support of uh, the Morning Glory boarding. I guess it all. Stout's role initially uh, were just uh, distance support. Um, there was a requirement to move some personnel. Uh, from the beach uh, out to one of the other units that was participating. Um, we took over that tasking and then soon after accomplishing that uh, we're retasked to participate in the overall execution of the mission. Uh, so after the initial intercept um, by the units that actually conducted the initial intercept, uh, USS Stout's VBSS team, our boarding team, and our prize crew took over the vessel. So we did the initial uh, sweep, the securing of the uh, vessel's crew, uh, the securing of the uh, uh, persons under control at the time, um, and they took over control of the vessel itself. And for about four days, uh, my crew was the prize crew, as we call it. Uh, my executive officer was the captain of that vessel, and I had 33 of USS Stout's personnel over there. And we worked around the clock to support that vessel and bring it back towards Libyan waters for return, repatriation to the Libyan government. Uh, there, too, many, too many individual uh, accomplishments made over this entire deployment to identify uh, any one thing that stands out. Uh, the complete flexibility of the crew, uh, no matter what the mission, whether it was ballistic missile defense, whether it was boarding operations, uh, whether it was operations off the coast of Libya, there was nothing that the, uh, the crew was not able to do um, they were ready for it from the time we got there until the time we put our lines across just now. Um, they were thoroughly engaged and I'm extremely proud of what this crew did. Yeah, for the most part, although there's uh, there's four ships that'll be forward deployed, so that'll offset some of the time uh, that's required on station. So I think it'll, it'll probably even out a bit more, um, although there'll still be uh, eight month deployments due to operational tempo and and the continuing uh, increased op tempo uh, in the 6th Fleet area of operations.